Well, hey there, all you art lovers. It is I, Embrace the Matrix. <clears throat> and, uh, thought I'd talk to you guys a little bit. Hope you don't mind. This is actually a painting I did back in February of 2017. Uh, just a black canvas, 40 by 16. As you can see, I was Instagramming this. So if you go back in my Instagram, back to February, you'll see this POV poor jobby. Uh, it's a standard uh, uh, fluid style painting, but this is a 40 by 16 canvas, which is personally one of my favorite uh, canvas sizes, one in a 1.5 inch in width. I was actually going for, in this particular one, a more galaxy style background, galaxy-ish. So you'll see it evolve in front of your eyes. So how's everybody doing out there? Are you guys doing good? Are you happy to know that the, uh, the Matrix is still, still sucking the same air that you two suck every day? Yeah, <clears throat> as I'm sure you could have noticed from my previous video, things have been somewhat a little rough. Now I'm not going to go into anything. Uh, certainly any true type of negativity in this video. Everything has just been so negative lately. And I'm just trying to, gosh, I'm just trying to like, like brush it off every day. Literally, there's a great song by Nine Inch Nails. It's called Every Day is the Same or Every Single Day is the Same. It's on their album with teeth. Man, it's like my been my anthem. I mean it's just the lyrics, the words, the whole the whole concept, I think. Uh, at least how I perceive it. <clears throat> Cause it's just been me waiting for the next day of bullshit. Like what's gonna happen today? And I don't like to think like that, because I normally don't, but with what I'm going through and then with what's happening and <clears throat> you know personally and business wise it's just everything is fucked for lack of a better word I don't know how else to put it politely uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm pushing through guys it's you know I, I appreciate all the nice positive comments and stuff and all the support man believe me when I say wholeheartedly it means it means a lot. I don't have any friends, any real friends. Um, and for all you that might be thinking, because I get the question probably the most, what are you doing with that torch? All I'm doing with the torch, I'm barely touching it. I'm just using it to pop the bubbles because I obviously don't want to blow on it because, you know, it's going to alter the paint. So the torch is why at least that's why i do it other people probably do it for the same reason but i'm barely t i mean i'm i'm going you see how quick i'm moving i'm i'm not scorching the paint or anything i'm just trying to pop the bubbles which also will give you cells um not that i'm necessarily going for cells in this one particularly but i just i don't want the bubbles <laughs> so um and of course once you do pop the bubbles yes it can morph into something else even cooler than what you originally thought so, but yeah, in lieu of the fact that things have just been absolute shit for the Matrix since since pretty much the beginning of the year, um, I'm I'm still pushing through and I'm I'm trying to think as positive as possible. It's tough when your environment is kind of daily negatively impacting on your want and will and desire to not only feel better, be happy but be productive and be able to move forward with life and, you know, have future plans and stuff. But sometimes it's difficult. <clears throat> Let me just put this out there. If you know a friend or a family member or somebody that's got mental issues, don't ask them if they're okay. If you're going to ask them anything, ask them how they're feeling, but don't ask them if they're okay. They're not okay. Hell, you're not okay. Nobody's a who's okay. Nobody's okay. You know, it's just different levels of okay. So, I don't know why I didn't edit this chunk of time out. Um, well, that's pretty stupid. I do it now, but you'll just have to listen to me talk. Um, we're just sitting here watching...
paint slowly ooze off the sides cell formation I'm going for a galaxy thing the, what's really cool about this painting as I'm sure you saw by the thumbnail is the uh, effect I try to apply see a lot of people doing fluid paintings like this you know of course I'm, I'm you know I'm not breaking any new ground per se I mean usually people stop here you know people for the most part they just you know they do their silicone or whatever and then they mix their thing this was a dirty pour obviously you saw me in pour pour everything into one cup but a lot of people just say okay that's it it's done for me it's not I'm you'll see why because I want to add some flair to this I want to add some uniqueness I had an idea and, and I'll go into some artsy fartsy philosophical mind whatever garbage of how I what what gets me excited about when I create art you'll find out here really really soon so don't go anywhere things are about to happen here I didn't want to babble or rant in this video. I just thought I'd talk to you guys. Just talk you through this one. You know, here we go. Just a little extra torching. I want to make sure that got a nice, smooth surface. We don't want to disrupt this galaxy. This is uh, the new galaxy. This is a uh, galaxy 1 billion, 5 million, 100 trillion. Okay, here we go. All right. This is what's going to happen. See, obviously, you see things are getting a little, like, almost like an earthquake, you know. Just keep your, keep your eyes on the screen. Don't take them off the screen. Look at this. Bam! Slow motion. Here we go. Boosh! Here we go. Zoomed in. You ready? Watch this shit. It's coming. Keep your eyes on the screen. Bam. Okay. I took a still shot right here. Bam. Here's my still. See those little lines on the left? I'm almost pointing to them. It's like thinking that you're in here with me. You know, getting those lines, those little random, unique, bizarre, little thin, hair thin lines. That's what gets me excited. When you get stuff like that, that's what gets me excited. Now, as you see, this is why I like art. Now, we're about to move on with the rest of the video. But this is why I like doing things like this. Like, look, look, you just see me drip? I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to drip. I wanted just that yellow, and I dripped. Well, we fixed it, though. I didn't mean to. That was an accident. But, you know, as the old great Bob Ross it's no accident, they're happy accidents, right? But no, it's those little lines like that. And that's the thing. See, this is why I try to tell people, and here we go, we're popping some bubbles, <clears throat> is that anybody can do this stuff. I do it because it's it's relaxing, it's creative, it's fun. You, you can. You, you, there's no boundaries. You know, it's just you. You don't have to rely on anybody else. You don't have to count on anybody else. You can just do what you want, when you want, how you want it. It's to me, it's the utmost expression of freedom to be able to paint or draw or create like this. So, yeah. Um, but the thing is, you see what I did there? I just dumped that. I just what I I dumped like a big glop of paint. I didn't dump the whole cup, just a glop. And I have no control. See all those lines on the left there? I got no control of how they were going to take shape. You could be the best artist in the world. You could be, see, here we go. I'm trying to fix my screw up here. So we're just going to turn it into a little, like, star in the sky. Yeah, that's it. They'll never know. Um, the fragment of my, what this, what this is to represent, if you ever, if you really want to know, is just an exploding sun. Because you know our sun's going to explode. You didn't know? Our sun. The sun, you like every morning that's out there. Eventually, one day you're gonna have, we're gonna have a supernova, and it's gonna explode. It's not a matter of if; it's a matter of when. But I do believe it's gonna be in about like a hundred billion years. <laughs> so I think you're safe. So relax, relax. Don't I know if you were packing stuff, getting ready to hop in the car, you can stop. It's not you. You're, it's 
that's not even in your kid's lifetime or your kids, 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 kids lifetime. But this, uh, obviously this one's called Solus. Okay. This is how I'm pronouncing it. Solus. Crepitus. Crepitus. Well, if you type in Crepitus, C-R-E-P-I-T-U-S, and you'll get, or, you know, the translation, which is a solar explosion. Solus Capritus means solar explosion in Latin. If you haven't noticed by some of the titles of my paintings, I tend to go for Latin words or a combination of Latin and English just because I like the way Latin words look. I like the way they sound. However... I thought it was Crepitius, Crepitius, go, go listen to them, them when you hit the little voice thing, it tells you, it tells you, you know, it's, it, it pronounces the word for you, it doesn't sound like that at all, not at all, it's something else, unless they're wrong and I'm right, who knows, Solus, Crepitiosos, whatever, but yeah, but I mean, no, granted, I, I wanted to throw in just some, you know, other little random like kind of like my lines you know drawing them out but those lines on the left i mean you have no control it's it's completely random i mean i'm not trying to like like try to blow your mind or nothing because we're not we're not here we're not here to be blowing minds but my point is it's like that's what i like about it i like doing stuff like that and like you got one chance i mean there's no you know we're gonna see i didn't use all the paint and we're gonna just throw a little more in there um, and quite frankly, I should have knocked this off because I put way too much paint and it actually cracked when it dried. And at first I was like, oh, that sucks. The paint cracked. But after sitting and looking at it for weeks at a time and uh, I realized, you know what? It actually adds character to the f- painting and stuff. And once I gloss it, I think it's going to really make it look dope. But, um, but that randomness, you know. When you got, I love, I love the excitement, like right before, cause I'm like, all right, I got one shot, like, especially if I do a cool background and then I'm going to do something like that where I'm just going to like drop some paint down. Now I knew what I wanted. I wanted it to look like an exploding sun. How was it going to look? I don't know. I think it pulled it off pretty well. Um, but nonetheless, you know, it's all random, you know, so many things are random. Um, this is me just throwing some white in it's, you can't really see it much in the dried painting, but I don't know. I was just trying to go for some, I was trying to put a little, a couple little white stars in there, like, like a nucleus of the explosion, um, a supernova, if you will. I'm drinking organic peppermint tea, caffeine free, of course. See, we're just kind of like playing around a little. Um, but yeah, so this is an old painting with new talking cause it's, oh, what the hell's the date today? It is 6, 17, 2007, 3, 23 PM. I should have this video uploaded here momentarily when it's done and you know, things are going well. I'm actually working on a painting now, very much like the one in the same style as the final, my one called final thoughts which was the last painting I did before my self-imposed hiatus. Um, doing another one sort of like that. It's just, it's just kind of, I'm just going with it. It's taking, you know, like I go down there days, like for the last couple of days, I've gone down there for like <clears throat> maybe like five minutes. I've grabbed some paint. I grabbed the brush. I threw some paint down and then I just left. Uh, it's, you know, I'm getting back into it literally slowly, but surely, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but this one's cool, man. I've, I've really gotten into the universe a lot lately over this uh, last few months as I've been taking breaks and stuff just from the world and life and things just to uh, ease my head, ease my brain a little. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, watching a lot of videos on like um, the Hubble telescope, which they're about to retire after like 20 years and put up a new uh, space telescope. But <clears throat> Man, some of the pictures of Hubble telescopes getting, dude, if you want to get your mind blown, here, here come a bunch of pictures. You want to get your mind blown, go look at some of that stuff. Dude, they're shooting like 100 million light years away galaxies and shit with like pinpoint precision. I don't even know. I don't even understand it. I just think it's fascinating just to know that we're just a teeny little itty bitty dot blip in this whole grand scheme of things. And we're all here listening to me embrace the matrix, you know 
talk about this painting he made. It's, it's crazy if you think about it. But oh, one other little public uh, little PSA I want to give you. Be careful out there. There's a lot of jackals out there. And by jackals, I mean people that are masking themselves to be something they're not. And, you know, you may invest some time and some effort only to be disappointed in the end. Here's what it looks like. <gasps> See how it cracked in the top and the bottom around the yellow? But it kind of looks cool, right? I think it does. Once I gloss it, it'll look much better. But, yeah, watch out for those jackals, man. There's people out there that you think they're uh, trustworthy and stuff, and they turn on you when you least expect it. Expect, expect it. <gasps> I'm still talking, and there's nothing on the screen. What's going on here? I don't know. You guys take it easy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for all your comments. Thanks for your support. I love every one of you. Well... Most of you. Later.